Shalom. Giving all praise to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shah. Bahashem. Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. This is 2 Peter 3rd chapter 9th verse. The Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, is not slack concerning his promise. As some men, as some men count slackness. <clears throat> but... Lord is not slack concerning his promise. And the first thing you got to understand, what is the promise of the Lord? The promise of the Lord is that he's coming back. <clears throat> he's going to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, back to seek, save, and deliver and gather his elect that he chose since before the foundation of the planet Earth. The hopeful elect men that's on the highways, Hedge Street Corner, and on the internet, YouTube, that's preaching and signing and crying. To the heavenly father Yahweh to, to, to send his only begotten son Yahweh Shah back to destroy this wicked kingdom Babylon the great America and set up the kingdom of heaven. It's that simple. And he's not that is the promise. He's not he's not slack concerning his promise. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and the, everything's concerned in the elements everything the elements shall melt with fervent heat that fervent heat is the nuclear bomb is going to drop down on babylon the great america you can't even imagine what fervent heat is. It's the hottest of the hottest of the hottest heat. It's that simple. The earth also and the works that are in and the works that and the works that are therein shall be burned up. It's that simple. So let's put this in the context. The Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going to come back like a thief in the night and he's going to burn all the elements with fervent heat and the works that are therein shall be burned up <clears throat> so everything you see here in Babylon the Great all the elaborate buildings and communities and cities and fancy cars is gonna be burned up all the elements see it, get, it don't get no more simple than that it says all the elements this is how you break down scripture. <clears throat> you got to look at every word and put them into proper context. All the elements. It says that. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everything here in Babylon the Great was obtained through lies, through rape, rob, murder, lies, deception. And through unrighteous means. But the Lord is going to correct that by sending his only begotten son back, Yahweh Shah back. Is that simple? Okay, verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Is that simple? All these things shall be dissolved. You got to break down a scripture like this. What manner of persons ought ye to be? In all holy conversations and godliness. That's talking about. We should always be talking. About, so like it. Had hiccups. We should always be thinking and talking about. The Lord's glorious return. And what's going to happen when he return. And that holy conversation should be what gets us in line. In the right frame of mind. Of repenting. And coming back to serving the Lord, rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability, 
Judges 5 and 11. Let's get that. <clears throat> Judges 5 and 11. <clears throat> We're talking about all holy conversations ought to be. Ye ought to be. And what should get you in the right frame of mind? Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers. What is the noise of the archers? That noise is the, is the, is the dropping and the falling of those nuclear bombs. That the, that the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to let rain down on Babylon the Great. The noise of the archers. In the places of drawing water. And that's talking about what the slaves, so-called slaves, what the slaves... The children of Israel here in Babylon, the great America, were slaving and working the places of drawing water. There shall, hold up, so like, what happened? There shall they, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. That's a statement. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. What are the righteous acts of the Lord? The righteous acts of the Lord that we are rehearsing is studying, is studying, make us self approved before the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, and fearing the Most High. That is the whole duty of man. Let's get that. <clears throat> Keeping in the right frame of mind. Ecclesiastes 12, 12th chapter, 13th verse. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High God and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. It's that simple. The Lord is coming back like a thief in the night. And all things, all the elements shall melt with fervent heat. It's that simple. Repent, you therefore, and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. On to the next one, Shalom.